हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर फिजिक्स क्लास ऑफ क्लास एट आई होप यू ऑल विल बी फाइन स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ अवर फर्स्ट वीडियो आफ्टर योर हाफ ईयरली एग्जामिनेशन सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर फाइव ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन अवर क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर फाइव लाइट एनर्जी ओके so in class सेवेंथ you have already uh, studied this lesson light and uh, in that in that class in class सेवेंथ you studied that light travels faster in air than in water and glass water or glass so uh, light travels faster in air with a speed of थ्री into टेन raised to the power एट meter per second and in water the speed of light is 2.25 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second and in glasses 2 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second now in the language of physics we say that glass is optically denser than water why because uh, in glass the speed of light is less as compared to speed of light in water so we say that uh, glass is optically denser than water and water is optically denser than air because light travels faster in air as compared to water okay so uh, water is denser than air or we can say that air is rarer than both water and glass because light travels fastest in air okay so thus uh, we can say that a medium is said to be denser if the speed of light in it decreases while it is said to be rarer if the speed of light in it increases so as compared to water and uh, glass air is rarer why because uh, the speed of light in air is uh, fastest as compared to water and as compared to gas okay and uh, but in no medium it can be more than 3 into 10 days to the power 8 meter per second means the speed of light uh, can be uh, cannot be more than 3 into 10 days to the power 8 meter per second in any of the medium okay now what is refraction of light you have already studied about reflection of light now in this chapter we will study about refraction of light light travels in a straight line path in a medium but when a ray of light traveling in one transparent medium falls obliquely on the surface of another transparent medium it travels in the other medium in a direction different from its original path means uh, in uh, when light travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium suppose this transparent medium is air and this is glass or water okay so when light ray travels from uh, our one transparent medium to another transparent medium it travels in the other medium in a different direction from its original path means suppose you can see in this diagram as when light is traveling from this air to water air is rarer medium and water is denser medium so when uh, the ray of light travels from this air to water it slightly bends uh, either away towards away from the normal towards the normal or uh, it bends away from the normal means it deflects from its original path you can see here this ray of light this arrow this is a ray of light so it will not move straight in its original path it will slightly bend towards the normal now how it bends Uh, uh, away the away from the normal or towards the normal. This we will see here. Okay. The change in the direction of path of light when it passes from one optically transparent medium to another is called refraction of light. Means this change of path, the change in the direction of path of light when it passes from one optically transparent medium to another medium. that is known as refraction of light but experimentally it is observed that when a ray of light travels from a rarer to a denser medium we can say from air to water or glass because air is rarer than both water and 
glass. So when a ray of light travels from a rarer to a denser medium, it bends towards a normal. Means the original path of uh, uh, this light ray is this one, but it will not uh, move straight. It will slightly bend towards a normal. You can see here this normal line. So this ray of light bends towards a normal. Why? Because it is traveling from rarer to denser medium. So it is experimentally observed that when a ray of light travels from a rarer to a denser medium, it bends towards a normal. Okay, this is first uh, uh, category, first uh, type. Then the second is, second condition is, when a ray of light travels from a denser to a rarer medium, in uh, first condition we have seen uh, from a rarer to denser medium, now from a denser to a rarer medium. So when a ray of light travels from a denser, that is either from water or glass, to a rarer medium, that is air, it bends away from the normal, means this is a uh, path of light, original path of light, but it will not move in this path, it will uh, slightly uh, bends away from the normal. As you can see here in this picture, this ray of light bends away from the normal. Okay, this is the original path, but as it travels from a denser to a rarer medium, it bends slightly away from the normal. This is second condition. Now the third is, when a ray of light falls normally on the surface, separating the two media, okay, when a ray of light travels, uh, uh, falls normally on a surface, normally that is 90 de at 90 degree angle, separating the two media, this is one media and this is second media, it passes undeviated, means it will pass in the same path, okay, without any deviation. Understood? Now, here are some terms related to reflection of light. You already have uh, studied these terms, means incident ray, reflect. Uh, reflect, do you have studied about reflected ray? Here it is, refracted ray and normal. Angle of incidence and angle of reflection. So we will study them one by one. Incident ray, a ray of light falling on a surface separating the two media is called incident ray. Suppose this is uh, the surface which is separating the two media. This is air. Suppose this is air and this is water or glass. So when uh, this, uh, a ray of light Falling on this surface, that is separating the two media, this is first media and this is second media, this ray of light is known as incident ray. Okay. Now, what is refracted ray? A ray of light traveling in another medium in a changed direction, this is called refracted ray. As this is a normal line, we can... Now, as this is from rarer to denser medium, so it will slightly bend towards the normal, this is the original path and it is bending towards the normal. So this ray is the refracted ray and this is normal. The perpendicular drawn on the surface separating the two media at the point where the incident ray strikes it. This is the incident ray, this is incident ray where it strikes this surface, this is uh, the perpendicular drawn on this point is known as normal. Okay. Now, angle of incidence. The angle between the incident ray and the normal ray is called the angle of incidence. Means, the, uh, as you can see here in this diagram, this is normal, the incident ray. Now, the angle between these incident and the uh, normal, incident ray and the normal ray, that is known as angle of incidence and is denoted by I. Now, angle of refraction. The angle between the refracted ray you can see here, this is a refracted ray. So the angle between the refracted ray and the normal is called the angle of refraction. That And it is denoted by R. Okay. Here you can see in this picture, this uh, is a rarer medium. This is a denser medium, glass, and this is air. Now incident ray is a ray that uh, is... Uh, reflect uh, this is that falls on this surface which is separating the two media so this is incident ray now normal is a perpendicular that is drawn at this point where the incident ray strikes the surface this is normal the perpendicular here and the refracted ray is this one okay now angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal ray and angle of refraction is 
the uh, angle between the normal and the refracted ray okay i hope you all have understood these terms that are related to refraction of light now laws of refraction that is snell's law refraction of light obeys the following two laws also known as snell's law of refraction now what are these two laws first one is the incident ray the normal at the point of incident and the refracted ray all lie in the same plane means the incident ray this ray the normal at the point of incident and the refracted ray they all lie in the same plane okay now the second is for a given pair of media the given color of light means for a given pair of media and given color of light the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence that i to the sine of angle of refraction is constant that is sin i upon sin r equals to constant okay this constant is denoted by mu means the sin i upon sin r equals to mu it is known at, as the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first media this constant uh, this constant mu is known as the refractive index of the second media with respect to the first media okay and we can write it as mu is equals to speed of light in first media upon speed of light in second medium for example if a ray of light travels from air to water then mu is equals to sin i upon sin r is the refractive index of water with respect to air because ref, uh, this mu is known as a refractive index of the second media with respect to the first medium okay it is given that the speed of light uh, this mu is equals to sin i in sin i upon sin r this is a uh, speed of light in what uh, air and this is in water so the ratio we got is 4 4 upon 3 or we can say 1.33 note the refractive index of air is 1 no medium have can have a refractive in, index less than 1 means uh, no other medium can have a refractive uh, index less than 1 so these are the laws of refraction now you have to read this lesson up to here and you have to thoroughly uh, read it so that it will be more clear to you and further explanation of the lesson we will continue in our next video Okay thank you